Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about hormone testing because I've been talking about the Dutch test and a lot of you are interested, are getting it, have gotten it, are super excited about it. Some of you have questions so I wanted to pop on and just mention some of these things. Now again, because this testing is so comprehensive, it can be tough to break down into really simple terms, this or that. Um, so keep in mind as I'm explaining it, this might be like, oh, it totally makes sense. Or what? That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> um, because our endocrine system is very complex, especially when we're looking at the female hormonal cycle, it changes day to day, week to week, throughout the month, throughout your lifetime, right? Um, I even mentioned this. So in my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. I have a little segment in this book that talks about the different bodies we even go through in our lifetime. I call it the seven bodies of Eve. So bodies you have, you know, before pregnancy, after pregnancy, perimenopause, if you're an athlete, things like that um, to note. So this is on Amazon, lots more information here on that and about eating for your hormones in your cycle. Um, <clears throat> but the Dutch test is something I really love looking at because it gives us a beautiful view of what's happening in your system hormonally. And it gives us more than just, oh, this is within normal, this is not. So here's an example of a Dutch test. This is like one of the pages that we get, and I get these dials of estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, cortisol, metab uh, melatonin, all those things. But then here's a more in-depth look at what's happening. And again, this is where it gets confusing, right? You're like, oh my God, what? What is all this? Like, this is all just your estrogen here. And estrogens path, estrogen, when you say estrogens, there's like a ton of different types of estrogen, right? People say estrogen, and I even use that phrase, or use that word to describe many different types of the form. But we're not just looking at that one thing. We're looking at, oh, these are, the, these are three different types of estrogens. These are the metabolisms, the metabolites of that. How is your body processing these things? Is it going well or not? Because oftentimes for women, when you're having an issue with your estrogen, it shows up and like, look at this level's higher than this level. Oh, that's a problem, that's off. That means you need to work on this or that, right? Or this is why you're having hot flashes. This is why you can't get to sleep at night. This is why you've gained 20 pounds and no matter what you do, you can't take it off because of this specific thing. That's what this tells me. But how is that different than a blood test? I can't tell you how many women I've chatted with that they're like, yeah, I had a blood test and they said it was normal, right? All they're testing is this one thing, right? Is it normal or not? They're not taking a look at this entire pathway and really getting this whole view of how is this in your system? Yeah, and then we do that for androgens and cortisols and we look at your progesterone breakdown as well. There's so much that goes into this and there's, there's even more that we go over. But basically when we're looking at hormone testing and the Dutch test, Sorry, I should write that on there. That's what the Dutch test is urine. Why is it important to get it in urine form? Because in urine form, the hormones that we're looking at are metabolites and some of the hormone levels, but it's in a water soluble form. That's how it gets to be in your urine, right? <laughs> uh, but it gives you the bioavailable level of hormone that's different than what you're finding in blood. When you find your hormones in blood, they're tied to a binding protein. Oftentimes it's like the sex binding globulin, blah, 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 right? Like who cares what it's called? It's bound to a protein. And only a small percentage of that is free, not bound. When it's not bound, it's allowed to do the stuff it's supposed to do. So in your blood, you've got hormones, a lot of them, are bound to a protein. Some of them are just floating free, not bound. The free ones do the things on your cells and in your body. They do the things. So when you get your blood tested, they're testing the bound, the free, they're testing all these things, right? That's the, that's what we're looking at. We're, we're getting a, a lot of, we're getting a big number for all of it. But what really is effective for the system and what affects your body is the free ones, which then in your urine, when it's water soluble form, that these are the bioavailable ones. That's what we're looking at in urine. The ones that actually give us that, we're, so we're piecing that apart and we're looking at the ones that make that impact. That's sort of a really simple way of saying it versus looking at 
total in the body versus the ones making an impact. The other thing I love that Dutch does is that it also takes a look at what your hormones do throughout the day because that changes. Morning versus afternoon versus evening. And if that is different at different times of the day, it's really important that you're learning what your system is actually doing at the time of day because sometimes you can have a morning level that's normal but an evening level that's totally off that then you would need to focus on and, and tailor it on. So basically this type of urine hormone testing allows you to completely narrow down on what you need to do. So instead of, if you're looking at a dartboard, right? Like, so if you get a blood test for something, you get the entire dartboard, like the dartboard. That's, you're getting all this, all this measurement, all this stuff. But you get a Dutch test, you get the bullseye, exactly what you need to look at and at the right time of day that you need to look at it. That's kind of how I describe getting the Dutch test and getting your hormones tested. You're getting the bullseye, you're getting right at the center of the problem and learning exactly what you need to know about your system. So blood test, it's not bad, but again, you're getting a result. You're getting one number for the entire dartboard and urine, you're getting numbers that are just at that bullseye. It tells you so much more information. So if you want more information on this, I have had a ton of women reach out and um, want more information on their bodies, want more information on their hormones and what they're doing now, especially right now. With everything going on, hormones are getting thrown off. If you've had a little hormone issue now with the added stress, it becomes a big hormone issue, right? So learning more about your hormones in your system is really gonna serve you very, very well. And I love this because it gets sent to your house. A lot of us are nervous about going into a clinic or feeling like, gosh, I can't go anywhere. I don't wanna go anywhere. I, I want more you know, health help but I, I don't want to go into a clinic if I don't need to, you know, and I'm, I'm honestly in the same boat. I have, you know, my kids have some appointments coming up. Um, you know, just some, they're not, you know, just some check-in appointments that they're important. They need them, but they're all switched to telehealth appointments, which is so great. I'm super grateful that we can do that. But for some people, it's super hard to get health. I actually have a friend, um, who doesn't live in the state of Minnesota. I'm in Minnesota. Um, but she doesn't live in the state. I have a friend who she had a really horrible um, abdominal pain. She was pretty sure it was a cyst. She was pretty sure it burst and wanted to make sure that she was okay and it didn't cause any other damage because it was like excruciating pain. She couldn't eat. She was vomiting, like really bad scenario, right? Well, all of her clinics in the city that she's in are closed down. She had to drive two hours away. She had to have somebody drive her because she was in so much pain she couldn't drive. And the only place where she could get help was a Planned Parenthood. That was the only place that was open, right? So a lot of us are, a lot of women right now, we're experiencing these, you know, hormonal issues, health issues, clinics are closed. Um, I have people that I'm working with that are in states that are so much, you know, regular care that's important is closed down. Um, in Minnesota, chiropractors are still considered essential and they're allowed to be open, but in some states they're not allowed to be open. So I have, I have people that I know that they're in severe pain and cannot get in to be seen. They can't see a chiropractor, they can't see a physical, physical therapist, even for emergency care, they're, they're all closed. So we're all in the same boat of, okay, we're trying to do what we can for our health and, how, and the capacity we can do it in. How can I do this? So this is another reason I love, love, love the Dutch test. I love, love, love not only the information you get from it, the, the breakdown of it, but also it gets sent to your home. You take the test, you send it in, and I get to go over the results with you and give you the next best steps for your system so you understand what's happening, why it's happening, and then what to do about it, all from the comfort of your own home. You can do it in your PJs. You know, again, this is a urine test, so you'll do that in the bathroom without me. <laughs> Um, but that's, you know, this is, this is the world we're in right now. So this is why I love the Dutch test. This is why I've been talking about it because I know so many people are affected and impacted with their health right now that need care that are really having a hard time getting the care that they need. So keep that in mind. Um, and I am so grateful for people, um, that are doing what they need to do for their health and able to find ways. Um, yeah, so there's a link there in the comments that you can click that link. Um, fill out that form so I know which Dutch test to send you. There's different types. Some of them we look at your specific cortisol levels. There's also cycle mapping, 
which is super exciting. Let me show you, let me show you what cycle mapping is. Oh my gosh. I love using this for women who are having an issue with fertility. Yeah. And, and oh, honestly, my heart goes out to women who are struggling with fertility because so much of what you are trying to do is put on hold, right? Put on hold. So again, right there in the link, you can look at, you know, what type of test you want. But again, I have friends that, that I've had people reach out to me to say, oh my gosh, how can I boost my fertility? I had these appointments set up. They're all canceled now. Yep. What can I do? Blah, blah, blah. Where am I at? I don't know when I can get in again, et cetera. Or, um, or worried about paying for expensive fertility treatments now that, you know, now that, uh, they're at home or, or furloughed from work. They're like, what can I do that's at a lower cost? Well, first learning more about your hormones and your cycle is important. So this is cycle mapping. This is an example of what cycle mapping looks like. It breaks down these estrogens, progesterone metabolites. Look at the detailed information that you get. So if you know somebody that is struggling with fertility or, or and struggling with, I don't even know how I can continue with things. I, and my hormones are messed up or I was going to start. What do I do? This is a great piece of information. You learn so much about your body and what it's doing. And next steps, based on this is a site, this is a cycle mapping thing. I've not talked about this before. So much great information though in cycle mapping that tells you about your hormones and your cycle. Super, super intricate. And you get next steps in terms of, okay, here's what I need to do next to work with my body. And again, all from the comfort of your own home. So it's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. Again, link there is in the comments for you to fill that out. Um, other resources I have for you are my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that. To stay updated on all the videos I have coming out and look through and comb through um, videos that I've done in the past to learn more about a specific topic like PCOS or something. Uh, and then I also have my, my podcast is The Female Health Solution. I got a lot of really fun episodes coming out soon. So um, subs make sure you're subscribed to my podcast if you are a podcast listener, because uh, there's a ton of really great interviews I've done and some really great, you know, little nuggets of info that I release on my podcast. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know your questions. I'm here as a resource and I hope you have a great rest of your day.